we'll wrap up the single PHP template by learning about custom partials. So you may have noticed this a few videos back. If we go to WP content and then themes and then go to 2016, that default theme that comes with WordPress, it's one of the default themes, you'll see they have this folder called template parts. And I had clicked on it just briefly when I was showing you about uh, the link pages feature. Okay, so that's not important, but I'm going to show you how to do this, how to create template parts. It's just a way of creating custom uh, partials. So let's close this up for now, and let's just look at our theme here. And we have this one large kind of single.php file. It's not too bad, but as you build these things out, they might start to get a lot more dense. We're just putting the essentials inside of this file, but as you build out a custom theme, you may start adding a lot more code to this. So what I'm going to do is reorganize this and create a custom partial folder. And the way we can do that is just right-click here and say new folder. So I right click on my custom theme folder and say new folder. And then in there, we'll put in a folder called template-parts, just like that. And then in here, we'll say right click and say new file, and we'll call it content dash single dot php okay and then what we're gonna do is inside of this so double click that first thing we're gonna do is put our label in so grab this copy it and paste it here and we'll say this is the template for displaying we'll say this is the template part or partial for displaying single blog post content so the content of our single. And what we're going to do is grab this particular division right here, this div, everything inside of here. So we're talking about the div where we have the post and the post class, the post ID, the post class. And inside of it, there's the title, the date, the content, and the WP link pages for our pagination. So grab that entire div. We'll just cut that right out and we'll paste it in right below here. Okay, and make sure that we select all these lines that are tabbed weird and hold press hold down shift and press your tab key to move them backwards so that they line up perfectly and nest perfectly. Okay, so I'll save that. And then to be able to view this custom template partial, what we have to do is add just one line of code just like we did with get header. But instead, what we're going to do is go and get this particular template partial. And we can do it like this with one line of code. So PHP and then get underscore template underscore part. And in there, we'll say it's inside of a folder called template parts forward slash content and then comma. And we'll say single. And then we'll close that. Close out the PHP tag. Now if we save this, make sure your server is running. Mine is running over here. And if I refresh, you'll see everything is still working fine. That means it worked, okay? So if I had gone over here and just kind of commented this out and then save it, we're not going to get any of our actual blog content. We see the comments and all of that stuff because that's sitting below that partial. But the partial gets injected right here. So all we've done is we've moved the content, the title, the date, the actual body content, and the pagination. We've moved that into a separate file here called content-single.php. Okay, so we just copied it and moved it here. And then we use this one line of code. I'll uncomment it. Called get template part. This is another one of those WordPress functions. And we store it in here. So if you follow this pattern, you can do this with any custom parcels that you want. If you ever want to separate and reorganize your code so that it's in different folders uh, and it's just a little bit cleaner and your files are just that much smaller and easier to comprehend, then you can do that. Just follow this pattern of get template part. That's how you do that. And again, 
If you ever want to see examples of that, just go through the other kind of default themes and you'll see that they do it with a variety of different kinds of, uh, you know, kind of template partials and different template files.